Good morning. It's Friday. This is Maria from Hamilton County Recovery Center at my home kitchen. So welcome everyone. We are going to do fish today with a couple, several accompaniments. So hi, how you doing Linda? Whoever's here, just give me a shout out, say hello so I know you're here. And I hope you're having a nice sunny day. I see that it's a pretty good temperature today and we've had pretty good weather this week. So hopefully you want to get some brain food in this weekend. If you go shopping or anytime this week you uh, get some fish. I purchased some cod a while back. It was in my freezer and I thought it out. Hi David. Nice to see you. Um, so I actually uh, did a little test run. So we have it all made up and ready to go. And I think I see uh, Nancy as well. So good morning to you. And it smells good in this kitchen today. So I'll be running through the fish preparation. And you can do it however you want, but we're just gonna do it a little crispy today on the skillet, a little pan searing. So I wave to you, I got my little gloves on, or glove. <laughs> so we can do a, a crispy version on the skillet. Um, I did want to do, <laughs> I could start out on the skillet and end up in the oven, but I just got my hand healed after about a month, so I don't feel like uh, taking a chance on that one. Not that I would do it again, but anyhow, that's what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make some wild caught cod and uh, do a little breading with a uh, little whole wheat flour as opposed to the white, so we get some fiber. So I keep that in the freezer because I don't use a lot of flour but um, I, I put it, double bag it, and keep it in the freezer. And then I have some of the Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. So we have that. And then I have the um, cage-free eggs to dip it in. And so I have my whole setup here. I'll show you. Uh, I guess if I can get this to manipulate this down here. Um, so I'll show you in a minute here, but so I have the, the three set up where it's hard for me to see if you, what you can see, but anyhow, I'm going to move that away for a second. So you can see I've got the, the breadcrumbs where I actually put a little bit of uh, ground cayenne because I like it, um, canned red pepper. I like it a little spicy. I didn't add a lot, a little ground pepper. A little salt, not much, because actually, believe it or not, the cod had some sodium in it. So you got to watch it with that, unless you go ahead and buy fresh fish. Um, I did not in this case. So, and then of course I whisked up my eggs. Um, I just had two eggs in there, and then I have the the breadcrumbs, which are the Italian seasoning type. So, and you can use your own if you want to crunch up your your um, whole wheat bread or whatever bread you prefer to use. If you need a gluten free or whatever. Okay, um, the one thing, just as a little reminder, um, and this was on Dr. Oz this week, so anyhow, I, uh, I just want to remind y'all not to keep your PAM spray or any kind of uh, propellant spray near your stove or when you spray your pan, spray it in a cold pan and then turn your heat off. So I've got my pan cooling down here and I'll actually sort of spray it away from the heat and then turn the heat on. When I after I do my dip dip in, into each pan and then put it in the hot skillet, but you don't want to spray it because there's been a lot of incidents of the propellant if you do have the spray as opposed to just putting the oil in um, because it can come back at you and burn your face or your arms or your hands. I think David, you were in the class when I mentioned that. I think I'm pretty certain um, in weight management this week because we did that in person this week. So anyhow. Um, I'll go ahead and do that, get that cooking, and then I'll just tell you about the sort of sides I put together in advance. Um, it wasn't anything real fancy, but I tried to use what I had and sort of like spruce it up a little bit, okay? So let me see. I, I, I put some pictures on in advance. So 
my, my fish was frozen and you always want to put it in really cold water. I had it overnight in the refrigerator actually, so you never want to thaw it just sitting out. And I had it in the refrigerator, it was still a little frozen, so I just put it under cold running water till it thawed out. Didn't take long, otherwise you want to put it in any kind of, um, you know, protein, um, meats or fish. You want to put it in ice cold water and let it thaw or under running cold water or in the fridge until it thaws, okay? And then, of course, you want to use it right away. You never want to refreeze any kind of um, meat or fish unless, of course, you've cooked it. So you all probably know that, okay? So anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just put this down. And you can cook it just like this if you want, but if you just want that sort of sense of fried feeling, then we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to get some of this uh instead of white flour we're going to use wheat you won't be able to tell the difference it's just going to give you more fiber and b vitamins okay so it's nice to have it on hand if you want to do it half white and half wheat you can do that um and i'll uh i'll move this over if anybody wants to um say anything um you always, oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I did get all the liquid off, but Patnier's Dry is even a good thing too for cooking. So thanks, Linda, for that tip. Um, I think I got most of the liquid off of it, um, but you know, patting it really dry is probably a good thing. But I, I, I think I got most of that excess liquid off. But thanks for the tip. I'm always up for t more tips. Um, and then I'm just gonna put it in here, just to, in the um, eggs. Which, if you have to use like a little milk or water instead, you know, you can always do that if you have to. If you don't have eggs on hand or you're a vegan, um, you know, or if you prefer just to use egg whites instead of the yolk because you're concerned about cholesterol. I know some people will have their um, egg whites, um, you know, in a carton. And I, I know that was came up in class yesterday. So... Um, I know the person that I've been seeing, he eats egg whites every morning out of a carton, so that's what he would have on hand. So, ah, so you're saying good morning, David, to everybody. That's awful nice of you. Um, so I'm just going to use the um, Italian breadcrumbs now. And actually, you know what? Let me uh, get my pan hot, so we'll turn it away. And Seems like we get a lot more of the views after the fact, which is fine, but I'm glad you guys are watching live. Um, I feel like there's probably somebody else here. Maybe that might be Jenny, because I know she was on morning meeting, so we'll see. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's Jenny! Yay! I guessed it! Okay, so got my special people here. Let's see. Let me try to turn this a little bit. We'll get it on the pan, and then I'm going to... Just take this off for a sec, and we can use the tongs. And um, I think I will go with the spray. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna take it away in the heat, and then we'll turn it on. We don't want to have any burns, that's for sure. Okay. So we'll wait till that gets a little hot, and then we'll we'll put our fish on there. Um, like I said, I already cooked some fish, and um, what I did um, now I'm totally drawing a blank. So I don't have a prize, but if you know the answer, you get the prize. Um, because what are the apples? It's not gala, but what are the apples that are really really good that aren't gala? I'm trying to play. That's what I put in my fruit cocktail to spruce it up. Okay? I chopped up some apples. Can anybody think of them? Nobody's talking. Thank you. I knew you'd get it, Linda. I knew it. Honey crisp. So I chopped up some honey crisp, nice and small, about the size of the fruit cocktail. And put some honey crisp in there. So what I did today, aside from um, doing the fish, is I spruced up some things that I had to make them a little healthier. So I put honey crisp apples in my fruit cocktail. Okay. So thank you so much, Linda. You win the prize. Uh, there is.
it's no prize. <laughs> Maybe the prize is I'll come visit you on your deck. How about that? Okay. Hi, Chris. <laughs> um, so, um, anyhow, so I'm going to put the fish in. And that's what I did with the fruit cocktail. So I'll just tell you what I did with each thing to make it a little healthier, okay? And um, we're going to go ahead and put the fish on. The typical rule of thumb is that um, you would want to do five minutes on each side um, if it's an inch. Now, this is not a full inch, so it would typically be ten minutes. But I would say this is probably going to be more like about eight minutes, okay? So I'll just actually put my timer on, okay? I got a little timer, but I use my stove a lot. So, hi mom, Nancy Nina. <laughs> um, hope everybody's doing well. I know uh, it's been some crazy times. Ah, hi, uh, Ryan. <laughs> nice to have you. So, we're just gonna do an easy pan fry, pan sear, whatever you wanna call it. You can see it's not drenched in a lot of fat or oil or anything. I just use Pam, it's canola oil. A lot of times I use olive oil. But this worked just fine when I made it. So I'm just going to um, actually turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to do sort of a slower cook so it goes all the way through, cooks it through. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you what I did to my two other things while that's cooking, okay? So you probably saw the pictures. I do a little silly tease, if you will. <laughs> and um, I, let's see. Um, well, okay. So I already plated everything up, so I'll just show you here. I, I just took green beans and I added um, omega-3 walnuts. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I added walnuts so that you got the crunch. You, you can add almonds, like um, green bean almondine, but I, I did the walnuts instead. So you can see you got crunch and you got omega-3s. So I did that just to spruce up the green beans. And then what I did, instead of white rice, I did brown rice. And I added Kalamata olives, which I love. You can do any olives you want, just so that way you have the whole grains of the brown rice, but then you have the flavor of olives, which I prefer Kalamata. You can do black or green or whatever, and that's going to add a lot of um, monounsaturated fat, okay? So it's not like real greasy or fatty. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, that's a good idea, Linda. Um, well... Let's see here. My sister is telling me to put a little foil on it. Okay, we'll do a little tenting um, with my aluminum foil pop-ups. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Um, so we'll get that going a little bit. Um, anyway, uh, this was, um, I'm detracting from it, but this was the, um, the wild caught Pacific cod. Bendless, skinless, medium texture, mild flavor, so it's not real strong if you don't like a strong fish. Um, so that's what I got. Um, actually, there was, it's 120 calories per serving, two servings. I end up coming up with three servings, actually. So anyhow, it, you know, it will feed two or three people, essentially, depending on what you like. But um, it does come up to 240 calories total for all three pieces, just so you know. Um, so that's really low calories. That's about, all three pieces is about, you know, a breast of chicken, really, or, you know, the, a small filet, something like that. Um, you bought that too? Okay, good, cool. Um, yeah, and I got that salmon that you got, Linda, too, that whole thing of salmon. So I haven't used that yet, so that's in the freezer. So the family pack, I'll show you guys. So, this is the salmon. I know you got this, Linda. I think we got a really good deal on it. Um, and that was, this is the wild-caught pink salmon, boneless, skinless, firm texture. Um, and you can grill, bake, broil, whatever, um, pan sear, whatever. And um, I, I forget what we paid. I know, I want to say it was under $10, that's for sure. Maybe you remember, Linda, if that was $7.99, $8.99, something like that. But this is a whole family size, so... And they're individually vacuum sealed, resealable, packed, whatever. So you can be single or family, whatever. And this is awesome. So $10.99. Okay, so I was wrong. Uh, under $11. But still, really good deal. So uh, there's a lot of pieces in here. Um, let's see. Uh, 
half to one fillet is four ounces, and there's eight servings, 140 calories each. So that's really a good deal. Let me see how this is going. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm going to burn it. That's not good. I can smell something. Oh, gee. Ah, that was almost a burn. See, that's why I probably don't put the foil on it, but that's all right. That's all right. We're good. We're still good. Turn the heat down. Okay. Um, I'll just give it a little sear taste. <laughs> I'm the one who's got to eat it, so you got to really pay attention. That's why I never leave the kitchen. Never leave the kitchen because something's going to smoke or burn or something's going to happen. So thanks, Linda, for the update. Um, but basically, it's going to end up being a protein. You're going to have your green beans, folic acid, your walnuts, your omega 3s. It's um, going to really keep an eye on this. Um, and then. Um, you've got the whole wheat flour, so you got a little bit of B vitamins there and fiber there. Um, we've got the apple, which gives you that oxygenation, the fiber, the other fruits that are in there, which isn't a ton of fiber, but at least you get some variety of fruits. Um, if you have some canned fruit, you can always spruce it up by adding whatever fresh fruit you have, whether it's bananas or apples or oranges or whatever. And then, um, let's see, what else? Oh, brown rice, like I said, as opposed to a white rice. Um, you know, or if you like jasmine or any other type of rice, um, and then you can add your walnuts or almonds or pecans, and that really makes it a lot healthier, okay? Um, so I tried to get every food group in there today that I had on hand, and um, since I've been dealing with a, a little sick pup who's just, you know, he's not doing all that great, um, so I'm, I'm trying to sort of get by with what I have. Let's see how it's doing. I'm thinking it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely brown on both sides. Okay, so I am going to turn this really low. And uh, this is going to be a real short video. Um, let's see. You want your fish sort of flaky. And it looks like it is. So it's it only has two minutes left on the clock. So I'm going to say, since the heat was a little high and it, it seems to be pretty flaky, um, I'm going to take this off the heat and um, really... This one was pretty small. I'm going to go ahead and just show you the presentation of what I put together. Um, and it's really to give you an idea on how you can put together a meal pretty quick with whatever you have in the cabinet. Because that's really what I've been doing lately. I, I go to the store, I buy stuff. Um, you know, this week I was using stuff actually that the recovery center gave me, believe it or not, before the pandemic, aside from the fish. Of course, I bought that. But they had given me some fruit cocktail and some green beans and stuff. And um, some rice, and I was like, "Well, I need to use it." And they had given me some spaghetti and sauce, and so I made that the other night. And it was just pandemic food they gave me, so I was like, "Well, you know, gotta use this stuff." So anyhow, I just put this together, um, so you can see. And uh, it's, it's it's not you know the fanciest in the world, but I just I actually just put the two pieces of fish. It, it was really one piece, and it sort of fell apart, so I ended up breading them. And um, I just drizzled a little hot sauce on it because even though it had a little cayenne pepper, I like hot sauce. It raises your endorphins. So I did that. And then I have the um, Kalamata olives with the brown rice. And I have plenty more. So I'm going to get several meals out of this. And, uh, and then my um, green beans with the walnuts, which I absolutely love. I have walnuts every day. Um, they're just really good for your heart. Really good for your, um, speaking of HDLs, I think... Uh, that was brought up this morning in morning meeting. Um, so I like walnuts in just about everything. My yogurt, my oatmeal, my Cheerios, my Special K, um, you know, in this case the green beans, um, just because I didn't have almonds on hand. I just have a little bit of um, white cheddar there just to mix in with whatever. Um, and that's just a little bit of decoration. So that's my plate for today. And then, of course, I just, I didn't put my fruit in a separate dish, but, you know, just to even out the so-called... Uh, American Dietetic Edition, or Academy, actually, fruit, then, you know, we got the whole deal. Um, my dessert is always uh, yogurt. Um, I, I have the Shabani light or low sugar version, um, strawberry yogurt. So this will be pretty much my meal for the day. And then I have leftover spaghetti um, if I want something later today. So that is the deal. And... Hopefully, it just gave you a few little tips and ideas on what you can do with whatever you have in the um, in your counter, um, a refrigerator, a freezer, or whatever, um, and just sort of think outside the box, you know, because 
sometimes we just don't know what we want or we don't know what we can make with what we have and we don't feel like going to the grocery store right away. So see what you have. Just look around. And maybe you can just, you know, because I never even really put olives in my rice before. But I love olives and I like brown rice and I put them together. So really, just really think what you can do. Um, and mix and match stuff. And I think you'll be surprised at how creative you can be. And, uh, and, and I probably don't need to tell you guys anything, but I really enjoy the fact that you're willing to come and listen to me. Um, so, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the day. Get some steps in. I know I probably didn't get enough in yet today. Um, I guess I'm, I'm coming up on 4,000, but still, it's early in the day. I need to walk little Jack, so you don't have to remind me, Jenny. I'm going to do that. Um, he's, he's really attention right now but um anyhow once again um i'm really looking forward to um cooking with linda we get a ton more views when she's with me that's for sure she's definitely the serious cook in the kitchen but i try my best and uh thanks for listening thanks for tuning in and uh you know if anybody else has any questions or thoughts Oh, you're sweet. Thanks. Okay, so David likes fish. Linda's saying nice. And Jenny looks good. Thank you. Okay. And uh, hopefully we, we got you on the, the fish train for a little bit. Uh, twice a week. Good for your brain. Good for your heart. So see what you can do to fit it in. Okay? And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday and Sunday. And uh, don't watch too much news. <laughs> Watch something funny, okay? That'll probably be best for everybody's brain. Uh, fish and something funny. All right, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.